Giving Tuesday is around the corner, and for nonprofit marketers, one of the, the biggest things we hear is, well, how do we stand out on Giving Tuesday? There's so much going on. We know there's a huge opportunity, upwards of half a billion dollars might be raised in 2019 on Giving Tuesday, but how do we stand out? So I wanna share with you nine tips uh, that I think your nonprofit should be thinking about so you can stand out more on this massive day of philanthropy in Giving Tuesday 2019. One, send a save the date. I know a lot of people know about Giving Tuesday. However, sending a save the date can be really advantageous. It helps people kind of remember, oh yeah, Giving Tuesday is around the corner. And also, hey, we're the most important. We're raising our hand. Think about us. Um, and the more custom that save the date can be, whether you're acknowledging their past gifts this year, if they're a lapsed donor, you know, think about how you can segment that save the date, but a save the date in general can be huge. Number two, video. Video in whatever form just drives engagement. You know, there's all sorts of cool things and it doesn't have to be overly polished. I mean, you might remember some of those videos from previous years of, you know, a lady with like, ca like cards that she had written on and just didn't even say anything and it went incredibly viral. There's so many things you can be doing on the video front, but it is engaging. And if you're just doing, you know, imagery with a Giving Tuesday logo, it's not gonna stand out as much. So try video, whether it's your executive director on camera or you've got a, a video you're really proud of, use video, it helps you stand out. Number three, Facebook and Instagram ads. I mean, this channel, we talk about it a lot, but it works so, so effectively. And when you're trying to push on Giving Tuesday, it can really be a game changer for days like this. So, you know, run ad creative in front of key segments of past donors, current donors, those custom audiences, people that have visited your site, and even new, you know, interest-based donors. If you think they're gonna care about your cause and be interested in Giving Tuesday, test it all. It's a great day to test. Your conversion rates are gonna be higher and up your budget for Facebook and Instagram ads uh, on December 3rd and a few days before. Number four, share the impact of your organization before you launch your year-end campaign. This has been a very effective strategy for us. You know, weeks before your official kind of year-end launch date, just be sharing tangible numbers. What has your impact been? Impact ads actually convert. They can drive donations. But what we're really trying to do is use these ads to build engagement. Because then if you are running ads on Facebook and Instagram and sharing your impact, people that engage with that, you can then set up as an audience and target for year-end acquisition. Sharing your impact early, getting it out via email, getting it out on social, it really starts to prime the pump a bit for year-end when we're looking to really capitalize. Number five, do something special. I know that's a bit more general, but what I mean by that is, what can you do to make your Giving Tuesday push stand out? For example, last year, so many causes were mentioning, oh, we might get a potential match from Facebook, right? But that was a common message. Maybe you've secured a genuine match for, for Giving Tuesday. Let's, let's talk about that. Make people feel their donation goes further. Or an organization I know that was like young and really using Giving Tuesday for donor acquisition, back when sharing was a huge part of the Facebook algorithm, would say, oh, we have a major donor, and they walked one in who would donate $5 for every share. And we generated hundreds of shares on some of their content. So just put some twist on it, have fun with it, whatever that is for you, but it's a great way to stand out. Number six is explore micro-influencers. So what do we mean by that? Giving Tuesday is pretty social and Facebook is a big part of it. And so what we mean when I say a micro-influencer, I'm talking any person with say 2,500 to 10,000 followers, maybe 20,000, you know, 5,000. Really it's about their followers are engaged. And if you can enroll them for whatever reason they care about your cause to promote your organization on Giving Tuesday, that's a really, really cool way to stand out and can be really effective. You'd be surprised. Somebody with 5,000 followers, but maybe they're you know hitting some hashtags that are relevant to your cause. If you DM them, you can really start a conversation. And people want to look great. They want to post that they care about others on social. 
And so this can be a really effective strategy. You know, I'm not talking people with a million followers. I'm talking 25,000, 50,000. You know, say you're in ocean conservation and you're able to get a surfer who has 100,000 followers to promote you, which they definitely will if they think you're doing cool work. That can be big. And so try it. Number seven, mobile messaging. This is definitely something to, to test during year end. You have the capability and resources to do it well. Right, we're always trying to market where people's attention is at. We're trying to stand out. Facebook, these platforms are gonna get noisy for Giving Tuesday, but mobile messaging, open rates are high, people are paying attention. If you're gonna try these type of tactics that are new, year end's a great time to do it. So you can look at platforms, you know, like Hustle, see if we can get some mobile messaging off the ground, especially if you got some numbers, just another great way. And you can even acknowledge, hey, we're reaching out because it's Giving Tuesday, we're not planning to text you a ton, but if you can do this for us today, it'd be huge and we really appreciate your support this year end. Number eight is offline is crucial. We can't forget about the offline game. There's a lot of uh, you know work we gotta put in behind the scenes to drive online results. And so it's just overall, don't forget about this. You know, reach out to your big donors. Reach out to your board. Make sure people are geared up and ready and go and, and just feeling empowered to share and make Giving Tuesday great, you know? Um, Pre-wire people, hit that offline game. You know, you wanna have some major gifts, right? Especially if you're using things like thermometers, you wanna make big pushes early and that comes with people ready to go when you tell them to, to, to hit it. Last but not least, number nine is stewardship. I, Giving Tuesday, everyone looks through it through an acquisition lens, but it's also a day that you can just really try new things on the stewardship front. I'm a very big believer in taking your stewardship to the next level on Giving Tuesday. And that can be as simple as every single person that donates on Giving Tuesday. We're gonna just shoot a quick thank you video on our iPhone. We're gonna upload it to YouTube. We're gonna send them an unlisted video of us just acknowledging them and what their $10 meant, their $50 meant, their $100 meant, or their $10,000 meant, and why we're doing this for everyone that gives on Giving Tuesday, sharing with them what that work looks like, and just looking at them in the camera. And those little things, that's just one idea, but I've barely anyone does it. And the organizations I know that have, have felt tremendous feedback from donors. They've seen increases in donors that gave during the rest of the year end campaign in increased, you know, like multiple giving during year end and for higher amounts. So don't sleep on stewardship. It's a great way to stand out on Giving Tuesday and it creates a lot of engaged donors and you know, we're not just hitting with the typical transactional emails. I hope those nine tips were helpful to help your organization stand out this Giving Tuesday. I hope it's one of the best Giving Tuesdays and year ends you've ever had. And if you're interested in talking to Community Boost about how we can further amplify both Giving Tuesday and year end 2019 for you, don't hesitate to reach out. This is go time. This is our favorite time of year. And we hope you have a tremendous holiday season.